time war. Time, 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 at his in the middle of the night with a problem and his door would be open for me to stay and to talk. Very dear friend and um, he was a bit of a legend really, you know, when um, when I was uh, growing up he had a big hit with with uh, the Time Walk <laughs> with Stock Aiken and Waterman and he was, he was the protege of Nigel Martin Smith who was Take that to manager. In fact, he used to uh, he used to be driven around by Gary Barlow. <laughs> That's how Gary got into the music industry, and um, Damien introduced him to Nigel Martin Smith, and of course, Take That and everything after that. It's, the rest is history. But um, yeah, he had a big hit with Stock Aiken and Waterman with the Time Warp, and and uh, and then he had a few follow-up singles of the top tens as well, Wig Wam Bam really party songs and he was in part of that gender bender generation and um, oh he's just got the best stories in the world and I just love Damien and I miss him uh, so much and we sadly lost him to to throat cancer and I tell you that I was very privileged actually for a start um, I was the person responsible for bringing him out of retirement um, when we did the record that you're going to hear in a minute, Club Kids featuring Damien, video called The Radio Star. And he started on him on a whole new whirlwind of gigs again. Um, the 80s had come back into fashion. You know, he had, he'd had two or three hits. And then uh, he just needed something new, but in that style. And the, the Slee sisters got involved with Club Kids with us and did remixes. and. Oh, it was such a great record, and um, he did a great version of it. And then um, uh, James and me produced it in the studio, and had him come into the studio. It was just absolutely brilliant times. And then we went and did all these gay prides together, and, and tours together. And um, Damien's uh, forever getting me out of trouble because I was such a rebel when I was younger. <laughs> Why do so was he? <laughs> And we'd always be like sharing a hotel room or I wouldn't end up coming back to the hotel room and he'd be phoning my friends, where's Jason? So, you know, and he's got me out of a few scrapes <laughs> in my time. And I just, you know, I just loved him so much. But we brought him out of retirement to do Club Kids featuring Damien. And then obviously a, a few years later, he tragically got throat cancer and he moved back he was living in uh, the East End of London and he moved back to Manchester to be near his family. But I was very privileged actually. I'd just taken a job as as um, entertainment writer for the gay magazine, QX magazine in London. And so I was doing lots of features on um, all, all the drag queens and the singers and the pop stars and in the bars. But I also got to do the last ever interview with Damien and because we're such good friends, he made it very personal and it was a real privilege. I went up and met him with Paul Tams in Manchester and we spent the day together. And it was very sad actually because Damien could hardly talk and he'd had an operation or something. He had to push his, his voice box there to be able to make a sound. But we got through the interview and it was the last time I saw him obviously, but he passed away shortly after a bit. It hopefully immortalised him to have an interview about his life and about his accepting his uh, imminent death. Um, but yes, many a story in my Club Peace Chronicles book featuring Damien because we've literally parted together for, for two, three decades and um, I miss him all the time. So this one was the uh, video that we did with Bradley at the Barbican and, um, and the track we did with uh, James and, and then worked on Mayor with Pete Martin as well. And this is Club Kids featuring Damien, video kids the radio stuff.